Hey everybody, today Rado runs through gizmos, which is a game of harvesting energy to build fantastic gizmos and set up huge combo chains. Now I'm going to show you how it works today in a two-player run through, although before I get going, I strongly recommend you turn your subtitles onto the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. Okay, if you have done so, welcome to the lab, everybody. Here is where we build our gizmos. As you can see, as part of setup, we've got four level ones, three level twos, and two level threes waiting to be built. Also, in each of our labs, we have one filing gizmo, also known as a desk, already built and ready to go. And that's pretty much all the setup, although the first time you ever get the game, you do have to build this wonderful little contraption that kind of looks like a gumball machine and is full of all these marbles that represent the four different types of energy we can use to power our gizmos. So that's already been built, and the nice thing is once you build it, you never have to build it again because everything fits nice and neat in the box. So anyway, I've got my energy dispenser contraption built. We've got our group of gizmos waiting to be built. We've got our lab set up. Let's go. I'm the first player because my lab is the alternate brown color instead of the regular gray color. And on my turn, I will either file, pick, build, or research one of those four actions. And then that'll be it. So, uh, it's a pretty common thing to start out your first turn by doing the file action, where you choose a face-up gizmo from the display area and add it to your archive, which is just this little space over here. The reason for that is, because I've got this desk, it... it, it um, upgrades the filing action. I just describe what the file action is by default. You pick a card, you store it in your archive, that's it. But whenever I do the file archive, I also get to pull a random energy marble out of the dispenser as a bonus. Everybody starts with this. This is your first special power, but as you build more gizmos, you'll get lots of special powers that can upgrade the file, the pick, the build, the research actions, or that can be um, upgrade your overall operation or give you operation opportunities to convert stuff as well. So, I am going to start out by filing and putting something in my archive. And, although, you know, I could do that, but I think I'm actually going to buck the trend. Normally, this is how you start. But looking over here at the dispenser, there is only one black marble available right now. And I don't know if you can tell from the angle you're at, I can see that the next marble in the queue that's inside is a yellow marble as well. If that's the only black marble that's coming out for a while, because it's totally random, I can't see in here what's coming up next. You know, never mind the fact there's a ramp, so I have no idea what's coming other than that one yellow. If there's one black marble, I think I should grab it right now, because there's one, two, three black um, gizmos that could be built. So instead of filing, which would give me a free draw, I'm going to go on ahead and get this black marble, and then boom, a new yellow one's been revealed, and I can see up in the queue another yellow is coming. So I'm just going to store that. My first action was to pick. Take one energy from the six available in the energy row. I store it over here in my energy ring, and that was my turn. I didn't file after all, but hey, uh, I, I really wanted to grab that while the grabbing was good. Okay, that was my turn. Now, in this little energy ring, there's a reminder over here that I can have up to five of these marbles stored, these energy uh, marbles stored. And if I ever get more than that, well, I'm, there's nothing I can do about that. So, I, now that I've got a black marble on my next turn, I'm going to want to build one of these black gizmos. But we'll get to that on my next turn. It is now Jen's turn, and she is going to do a more traditional opening move. She is going to file. And since there's so much yellow, three out here, and you can see three more in the queue, there's only one yellow gizmo on the board to build. She's going to go on ahead and file this. Now, at the beginning of the game, your archive can hold exactly one gizmo. So our Jen's archive is full now. She cannot do the filing action again until she gets this gizmo built. But anyway, so she's filed, and as a reward for triggering the file action, she gets to draw a random marble, and she hopes... Well, I mean, she could hope for yellow, but there's yellows out. So let's just see what she gets. She gets... A black! Oh! Alrighty. Alright, so, and a new one comes out to replace it. That happens immediately. That was Jen's turn. She did a core action, and it was supplemented by a bonus. Okay, it is my turn now. I could go ahead and archive, which means I would get to draw a bonus marble. But, hey, I've already got some black energy. I'm going to build one of these two level 1 black Gizmos, because you can see, there's a reminder right here. All the level 1s always cost 1 energy. This one costs one black energy, 1. This one costs a blue energy, this costs a blue energy. 
The uh, level twos, they could cost two or three energy. All of these cost three energy. And the level threes cost four to seven energy. You can see this one costs four, this one costs five. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and build something. So if it's going to be this one, this will upgrade my build action, which says in the future, right now, it won't work. I'm just going to build, which means I'll choose a face-up gizmo from the display area or the archive, spend the energy, and add it to my little laboratory. So. After I've done that, in the future, if I ever try to build a red gizmo, like this level 2 or this level 3, I'll score an extra victory point. So that's if I build this one. Instead, if I build this one, um, this basically is a converter. I would put it over here, and this is a reminder that once every turn, I can turn a red marble into any color I want. That sounds pretty cool. I think I want that. So I am building. I'm choosing this gizmo. And I'm spending uh, my black energy, and now I've got that converter. And by the way, this was worth one victory point at the end of the game. A new thing comes out, and hey, it's a red gizmo. That was my second turn. It is now Jen's turn. Now, remember, she cannot file again because her archive's already full, so Jen's going to build as well. But whereas I built um, from you know out here, Jen's going to build her archived machine. Oh, which, um, all right, I'm sorry, no she's not, no she's not, because she has a black marble. She doesn't have a yellow marble, so she wants to get this thing built. She could pick, which is what she's going to do, she is going to pick a yellow. And oh my gosh, I can see another yellow in the queue. It's just nothing but yellow for a while. That was Jen's turn. She took one energy, and that was it, because there was no upgrade there. It is now my turn again, and hey... I like red marbles, because they're wild cards for me. There's only one red marble in the queue, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Okay, I think we're finally done with the yellows. I can see there's a blue coming up. All right, so that was it. I just picked You can see this game is full of super fast turns. But what's interesting, as you get more and more gizmos built, your turns can get more and more complex as you start triggering uh, you know, combo chains. Anyway, that was my turn, Jen's turn. Now, she will build this yellow gizmo, which cost her yellow. Goes back in there. And what this says is, from now on, if Jen ever picks a red marble from the queue, she also gets a random one from the top. And I just took the only red marble! No! So unfortunately, Jen and I were both competing for reds, and now there aren't any reds, so that's an interesting situation. Now it's Jen's turn. It is my turn again. Um, so, the interesting thing is, I've got one red marble, which means I could build this level one red, but I can convert red into anything, so I could build any of these. Um, or I could get a little bit, uh, I can have bigger plans. I'm just going to pick this turn. Boom. And so now I've got, um, and that was it. I don't get it, I, you know, but I've got a plan. I'm eyeballing this, this level, uh, this, this, this blue gizmo that requires three energy because I've got a blue. Next turn, if I get another blue, and now uh, the turn after that, this could be considered a blue, and I could build a level two, which is worth three points and has a better power. So that was it. I just did a pick. It's Jen's turn now. And um, you know what? Jen's still got this black marble. She's going to build this gizmo. And right. So this says, from now on, whenever she builds red gizmos, she gets extra points. So she wants to do that. You know what? No, no, no. She'll, right. So that's it. And that was Jen's turn. It's my turn again. And here's the thing. Now that I know Jen wants to do this, I should probably archive this red gizmo because I know she wants to build it. But I'm just going to stick to my original plan. I'm just going to be building up for a bigger turn. I'm going to get a uh, another blue. And oh my gosh, there's a red! Oh, very exciting. Alright, so that was it for me. Jen's turn. She says, oh, this red just showed up! She is going to pick the red. Because remember, when she picks reds, she gets a bonus. Let's see what she got. A blue, okay. That was her turn, my turn again. And now, I could use my red plus my two blues to build this, but hey, you know what? There's more blues in the queue now. Let's just go ahead and grab another blue, and I'll build next turn and save my precious wild card red. So that was it for me. Jen's turn. Jen is very happy that this has stayed here as long as it has. She will go on ahead and build this with her red. Alrighty. And, uh, see, this is an upgrade. Jen can now hold six 
uh, marbles in her ring instead of five. And if she does the research, she can draw four cards instead of three, which is very cool. I haven't done research yet. That might come up later. So anyway, so Jen got that upgrade. And because she built a red gizmo, she gets an extra victory point. So right now, Jen is in the lead. One, two, three, four points versus my measly one point. But I'm saving up for the big show, and here it comes. I am going to build my blue thing here with these three blue marbles. It took a while. And there, boom, we're tied up. I've got four points. And from now on, if I ever build a black or a red gizmo, I score victory points. So this is much more powerful than Jen's. Um, you know, so I definitely now want to focus on building black or red gizmos. Meanwhile, a new gizmo comes out. It is Jen's turn. She also wants to focus on building red gizmos. Um, you know, so she can just score more points. And she can't build a red gizmo right now. There's no red out here. But she will go on ahead and archive this one, just so I don't grab it. Um, so eventually, when she gets a uh, red... Oh, or when she gets a red, which might be right now, because Jen has chosen the file action to add this to her archive. She draws randomly, and she hopes for a red. She hopes for a red. You folks can see. Am I getting a red? I don't know. It's a black. All right. Say lovey. Okay. And then there's a red gizmo. Um, which is, oh, well, okay, yeah. So, my turn, I have a red. So I can go on ahead and build this and trigger, yeah. You know what, what the heck, let's go on ahead and do it. This red gizmo, which was, or this energy, which was a wild for me, I'm not using it as a wild. I am going to go on ahead and build this red gizmo with this red marble. And it. this is an upgrade for me. I can now hold six, and my archive can now hold two cards instead of one. So I could archive a bunch of stuff. And because I built a red gizmo, I also score a victory point. Yay! Okay. So that was it for me. I'll now I'm empty. I gotta start building up. Meanwhile, Jen, she's got a couple of marbles. And still, no red in the queue. We gotta get some red so she can build this red. So that means she cannot file anything more. Um, but hey, you know what? There's some level one. <laughs> Let's see. There's no blues other than level 1 blues, so starting to stockpile a lot of blues won't do her any good. She might as well build one of these. She could build this, this, or this. Although that won't give her any kind of benefit because it's not blue. This one will say, hey, when you build black gizmos, you get a point. This one says, when you pick yellow um, marbles, energy, you get to draw randomly. And this one says, hey, reds can be a wild card, just like that one I built. Jen might go for that, except she already wants to build reds as is, so she doesn't need to turn reds into wild cards. She will, since there's so many yellows to pick out there, I think she's going to go on ahead and build this black gizmo, which upgrades her picking action. And so, now, not that she's gotten another point, but if Jen ever picks from the queue a red or a yellow, she gets to draw extra. So she's getting more and more powerful as the game starts to speed up. Meanwhile, back to me. i got to start building all over again because I built that big one. And let's see. I like building black or um, red as well. Uh, there's one... And there's no black in the queue. I'll just go on ahead and... Um, file this in the archive. And that means I get to draw one randomly. Please let it be a black! And it's a blue. Shoot. Alrighty. Say la vie. And there we go. Jen's turn. So, she is now going to go ahead and... So she could build this blue, but instead, Jen really wants to get this red built, so she's going to pick one of these yellows. And because whenever you pick a yellow, she gets to draw randomly. She's hoping for that red. She got it! Alright, so she'll be able to build this next turn. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that was her turn. And I can see, by the way, in the queue, yellow, 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 blue, blue, blue. And looking ahead, I can see there's another yellow. There's no reds coming! Okay, so that was Jen's turn. She's set up for a big thing. Meanwhile, me, I've just got a measly blue. And what am I going to do? Okay, I... Well, I could get... I already have one converter that turns red. And reds seem to be incredibly rare. Um... Ooh. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to... No. Yeah, I'm going to build this blue. So now, I've got two cards that I can activate whenever I build a black gizmo. So every time I build a black gizmo now, I can get two victory points instead of one. I just need to... Black gizmos need to come out! Alrighty, anyway. Oh, no, that's right. I do have one. I need a black... Alright, so anyway. So I built that, and unfortunately it was a blue, so it didn't trigger this one. But a new thing comes out. It is Jen's turn. Oh my goodness. She's finally going to build this thing she's had archived for a while. 
So she is building a red gizmo from her archive, and that triggers this, which gives her another victory point. Of course, she had to spend that red. And so from now on, if she picks yellows, blues, or reds, she gets a double blind one. So Jen is a very strong picker. I'm a stronger builder. Um, plus, I've, if I could get some red, that converter would be great, but that's not working out for me so well. Okay, and I want to build this so I can get my two points off of that. Ah! Oh, man. Um, but the game has just started. That should give you a basic idea of what Gizmos is all about. If you want to watch a little bit more, as we start building up, getting stronger engines, and we start building more level 2s and start building some level 3s, where the powers get really fascinating, you can go on and hit that eye in the top right corner screen and go to the extended playthrough, or instead you can go to Final Thoughts. Your choice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.